Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? We're doing good, we're doing good, aren't we? We're doing fine. You have anything to say? I think. Yeah, whatever he said. Anyway, we're gonna react to real life lore. Here's why Chernobyl is still a massive problem today. And most of us know, and if you don't know, it was a nuclear power plant. I think it overheated and they had to evacuate this big, big town that was beside it. And um, apparently it's still a problem today, so let's check it out, let's react to it, let's see what we can learn about the disaster in the past, and let's see what is, how it's going to affect today. Over 33 years ago in 1986, the worst nuclear accident in history took place I was a nuclear power plant four years in old. Chernobyl, located only about 60 miles north of Kiev, a city of almost 3 million people. Ooh. During a late night big, safety big camp, city. a combination of critical reactor design flaws and human error built up to cause a massive steam explosion in nuclear reactor 4 of the power plant, which caused an open air graphite fire over Not good. 100 times the amount of radiation released by the Hiroshima bomb was unleashed into the atmosphere by the accident. Just and think about that. 400 times the Hiroshima re uh, radiation that's insane and we all know what happened you know there and how many people died so this this is a serious situation radioactive cloud spread over the entire european continent contaminating places as far away as the united kingdom wow the vast majority of the radiation affected the communities immediately surrounding the power plant at chernobyl the radiation was so intense in certain parts of the reactor building following the explosion that an unprotected worker could receive a fatal dose in less than a minute over the coming oh, days and weeks, less than a minute, 134 dead. servicemen who responded to the fire heroically were hospitalized for acute radiation syndrome, or ARS, of whom 28 firemen and operators died within months. The Soviet Army then oh, there's probably got cancer. the Chernobyl exclusion zone, <coughs> forbidding any civilians from entering within a 30 kilometer radius. Why would you want to? ...reactor that was the most severely contaminated area and evacuating everybody inside. This zone still exists in Ukraine today and is roughly the same size as Luxembourg. It was once home to 120,000 people across cities like Pripyat and Chernobyl. That's amazing. But it's been almost entirely uninhabited now for over 30 years. Today, exactly 197 people still choose to live inside of the exclusion zone for whatever reason. Seriously? But it's not as dangerous today as it used to be. The radiation levels are significantly less than what they 127 the people still live there? Wow. In 1986. The Soviet government called up on 600,000 people to come in and work cleaning the zone up after the disaster. It was no stretch to say I that the four building was the most dangerous place to be at in the entire world in 1986. But that didn't stop the liquidators from constructing the sarcophagus, a giant concrete and steel tomb to lock away Over the most it. dangerous place in the world forever. Wow. The sarcophagus entombed over 200 tons of highly radioactive corium So that's over the reactor that melted down. Highly contaminated dust and 16 tons of exposed uranium and plutonium. By the time that the core was sealed away inside, over 26 days worth of additional natural background radiation had already been unleashed onto the planet. There was only one problem though. The sarcophagus wasn't designed to last forever. Uh -oh. It was only designed to last for 30 years until 2016. The liquidators had constructed the sarcophagus in as quickly a time as possible in order to minimize their own exposure and the world's exposure so it wasn't to built well? poison inside. And as a result, the building was pretty shoddy and this yeah. is partially why Chernobyl still poses a massive problem today. Repairing the sarcophagus from the inside is considered to be impossible because the radiation levels inside are still estimated to be as high as 10,000 rentgens per hour. Who would want that to? That is enough to kill you if you step inside for just three minutes, and enough to fry any robots. The deterioration of the sarcophagus over the years since it's Build it over that building. ...release all of this poison back out into the world. But that wasn't the only danger. On the inside of the sarcophagus rests the Upper Biological Shield, or UBS, a concrete slab that was thrown upwards by the reactor explosion and now rests at a 15 degree angle inside of the tomb. What are that balls? It's only supported by debris, which means that it could likely collapse at some point. Explosion? the dust problem inside and possibly damaging the sarcophagus itself further, which could result in radioactive dust leaking onto the outside. 
Something had to be done before the sarcophagus fell apart and everybody Build a dome over it. So work began on a new structure that would cover the entire sarcophagus yeah. inside of it, which covered the entire reactor building inside of it, sort of like the deadliest and least pleasant nesting doll to ever exist. The new structure became known as the New Safe Confinement Building. Wow. Like the sarcophagus, Look at that. was designed Look at that building. to everything inside and last for the next century, until at least 2117. It took 1,200 workers seven years and 2.15 billion euros to Seven years? Equal to about 2% of Ukraine's entire GDP in 2017. Wow. If the United States spent 2% of their GDP on a single project, it would cost about $388 billion. Um, As the biggest movable structure ever built, the new safe confinement was finished in 2016 and slowly rolled into place over the old unstable sarcophagus and reactor building over a period of two years. I did weeks, not know about this. Trapping the nightmare inside forever. About 3,000 people currently work inside and around the building today as they work to dismantle the unstable sarcophagus and eventually remove the tons of dangerous radioactive material inside of it for a safe burial somewhere else. There is no time estimate for how long this process is going to take, but it years will last for years. at least a decade or and more. years. It's still potentially highly dangerous, and workers are required to carry dosimeters to keep track of their radiation exposure at all times. If a worker's annual limit is ever reached, their site access is cancelled and they're banned from returning. The annual limit can be reached by spending just 12 minutes above the roof of the 1986 sarcophagus or a few hours around its chimney. The exclusion zone gives off the feeling that the disaster was contained to that area, but that's no. not really true. Look at that. Levels that's of spooky. were dumped all across Belarus, Ukraine, and parts of Russia, and not everybody who died as a result did so immediately. Many victims and liquidators came down with dangerous cancers later on in their lives, yeah. and the UN estimates that at least 4,000 people have actually died from cancer directly related to the accident. Other studies claim that the number is actually somewhere closer to 93,000 people. That is just so many deaths. Some health officials estimate that over the next 70 years, there will be a 28% increase in cancer rates across the heavily exposed because of it? Belarus, Ukraine, and Russia, so the nightmare is far from over. Over. The Ukrainian government alone is currently paying out survivors benefits to over 35,000 families. And the economic impact in Belarus alone, where most of the radiation landed, has been estimated to sit at $301 billion. Oof. More than five times the annual GDP of Belarus. The total cost of the disaster has been estimated to be at least $355 billion, but that was back in 2009. $355 so billion! Any additional costs in the decades since. Considering for a moment that the 2011 Japan earthquake and tsunami and subsequent nuclear disaster at Fukushima is the most expensive disaster that's been properly calculated at a staggering $411 billion, Dang. it's likely that if the ongoing costs of Chernobyl were properly calculated up to today, it would probably steal that number one spot. This Imagine, so probably over 500 the area billion. Around the disaster in recent years, the long-lasting effects of cancer and the ongoing confinement and demolition work at the reactor itself means that Chernobyl is still a global problem and it isn't over yet. It will still be anywhere between 20 and several hundred years depending on the source you take until the area around Chernobyl is completely safe to live around permanently again. If you came to watch this video after watching the Chernobyl miniseries on HBO, you were probably not alone. I was specifically inspired I didn't see after that. watching the series myself to create this video I'd like to see it. research into what's going on there now. One of the most common questions that I get asked all of the time, though, is how I got started making videos like this on YouTube. I'm sure many of you watching this right now... He's gonna drop an advertisement, but anyway, I've seen the movie. They've made a movie. It's kind of like a horror movie, so it's not... It's not factual. It's There's a lot of fake stuff in it, like... Mutated people that's eating people and stuff like that. But I've not seen the, the TV show on HBO, so I'm definitely have to check that out. But it's crazy something 30 years ago affects us so much now. But that's the way with a lot of things in life, you know. Wars from centuries ago still affect us, you know. So the moral of the story to me is you got to be careful what you do in the present time. Because what you're doing in the present time is definitely going to affect 
people in the future, uh, people that you care about, you know, maybe like my son, you know, what we do now is going to affect my son later in life. So if you care about care about people we need to watch what we do could you imagine there's I don't know I don't know what the number is of uh, nuclear power plants but I know there's a ton could you imagine if a couple more went off I would I would hate to see that I really would but anyway those are some of my thoughts just crazy amount of money that and life that it uh, this caused you know but it is what it is. It sounds like they have a plan to uh, contain it and get rid of it. So hopefully that happens for the Ukrainian people, Europe, and the people around the world. But those are my thoughts. Maybe you have different thoughts, different opinions. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. Also, let me know what you want me to react to next. And we'll definitely try to check that out. But for now, we're going to say peace. You got anything to say? Say bye. Bye. Wave. Bye. There you go.